Hello and today we'll be checking out the OpenCart wallet system plugin and uh, basically this uh, particular plugin allows the customers to make the online payments using their wallet system and the customers can use their wallet cash during the checkout uh, and the money will get deducted from their wallet itself for the order that they're going to place. Apart from that the customers can easily add credit to their wallet and can transfer the wallet cash to another customer as well but the thing is that the pay must be a registered user within the same store so as to receive the wallet amount apart from that the admin can set the limit for the uh, wallet system transaction so uh, right now as you can see I'm at the storefront and uh, I've uh, logged into my uh, customer account and on the customer account dashboard on the right hand side here we have the my wallet and the transfer wallet money two options so after tapping the my wallet this particular section that we are already on would uh, appear up to the customer so from here uh, the customer can check the wallet balance can add money to the wallet can check the terms and conditions as well so if i tap here on the terms and conditions a uh, pop-up will appear within which the terms and conditions would be written up so the customers can go through that very easily and uh, apart from that the uh, customer can also see the uh, debit and the credit history as well along with the order id the amount that was debited or credited uh, the date when it was uh, done the description for the same and under the actions column there's a wave button to check the details of uh, uh, the uh, particular wallet transaction maybe it's a credit or a debit uh, there so uh, that was about this wallet section and here we also have this particular uh, uh, button that you can see and from here the customers can add their bank details so if i tap here on this this brings up this particular section wherein the customer needs to enter his bank name his aba or the bsp uh, number the swift code the account name and the account number and if you've already entered these details you can also update the bank details by making a change and then tapping here on the uh, update bank details button to go back let's tap here on the close button and here you can see the complete details of the wallet are there if there are more you can tap here on the load more to load more details uh, or the transactions that were uh, done here now uh, uh, how uh, would a customer add the uh, wallet uh, uh, balance there so to add the money to the wallet the customer just needs to enter the amount here so I'll just enter one to one for the uh, demo pur purpose here and thereafter I'll be just tapping here on the add money to wallet button and this uh, amount is successfully then added to the cart and uh, the customer then needs to make a checkout for uh, recharging his wallet so here we can see the wallet is there now the image that you can see here can be configured by the admin from the backend panel and uh, now we can make a checkout so as to make the payment and then our wallet would be topped up with the amount that's a uh, one to one that we just saw there so i'll just choose another uh, address here and thereafter i'll just tap here on the continue button now under the payment methods i'll be choosing the uh, preferred payment method to use for this particular order so i'll be choosing the bank transfer this can also be set up from the admin market panel and lastly i just check this terms and conditions and tap here on the continue button and lastly we can see that the product name is wallet and the total amount is for one to one dollars let me confirm the order by tapping here on the confirm button all right the order has been placed uh, the customer can check the history of the same the order number 473 but tap here on the view button we can see the uh, payment method that was chosen and the product was wallet wallet amount for one to one dollars now if i go back to my wallet section here under the customer account uh, block to my wallet i can see the details of this particular top up under the uh, credit history so if i tap here on the credit history you can see the order number was 473 amount created one to one transaction status is complete uh, the date and when it was added and the description wallet recharge details in order and from here the customer can view the complete uh, details once again by just tapping on the view button under the actions column and that brings up the order details there so that was how the, a customer would be able to transfer the wallet uh, basically top up his uh, wallet with uh, the uh, money there uh, so they are just adding uh, the money to their wallet using this particular section here and tapping this button now uh, 
now let me show you how a customer would be able to uh, make a checkout using uh, the wallet balance and how you can pay for an order so for that what i'll be doing is i'll be adding uh, one uh, product into the cart and thereafter we'll be making a checkout so let me go to this particular wallet system uh, category that we have here and let me add this uh, product that's the macbook to the cart let's go to the shopping cart and here i'll be tapping on the checkout uh, button now it depends upon uh, basically discounts can also be applied uh, uh, to the products there and uh, now i'll just uh, tap here on the continue button and now under the payment methods here you can see that uh, we have the use wallet uh, option the wallet balance is being displayed the card total is being displayed that 822 dollars needs to be paid so i can choose this and uh, you can see that wallet pay option has been selected here and thereafter i can take this and tap on the continue button now sometimes uh uh all right so uh on the confirm order page here you can see that uh, now i can basically uh confirm the order here you can see that the wallet discount has also been applied that's for 50 dollars it depends on a fixed or a percentage that uh, the discount has been set from the back end and here you can see that uh, the uh, subtotal is there so this is for the wallet uh, the condition that the admin would have created from the back end for example if the subtotal is uh, more than 500 uh, then uh, around uh, 50 would be the uh, discount there uh, if the 10 percent has been set there now let's go confirm the order here so i'll just tap here on the confirm order button the order has been placed let's check the history of the order and uh, here we have the order number 474 and uh, it's complete and the total is 772 there and let me tap you on the wave button and the payment method was wallet pay the customer details uh, here's the subtotal here's the wallet discount and the wallet total so the amount deducted from the wallet is being displayed as well that is uh, minus 772 dollars uh, we use for uh, placing the order there using the wallet amount itself now uh, now one more thing is there for example we have already added one product into the cart uh, and uh, we want to top up our wallet and uh, then for example if i'm entering the amount here uh, let me show you that uh, itself so i'll just add one product to the cart first and then we'll be try we'll be trying to add the uh, top up to our wallet itself so let me add this particular back uh, for color product into the cart so uh, it's uh, there and i'll just choose the color size add to cart so we have already we have one product there now if i go to my account or i can also access my wallet from the top here by tapping in the my wallet that displays the complete amount there so i just tap my wallet and for example i want to add one to one amount there to the wallet so if i tap in the add money to wallet we can see that's an error the card contains other products so you need to remove them uh, before adding the money to the wallet itself so i'll just tap here and i'll be removing this particular product that was there and now if i tap here on the add money to wallet the amount uh, would be easily added here and then the customer can check out can place the order and that particular uh, wallet amount would be added to the wallet balance there so that's uh, that's how easy it is to make use of the wallet itself apart from that if we see we also have this option here uh, transfer wallet money so if i go to the transfer wallet money section here we can see a complete uh, pay list now uh, the uh, customer can uh, basically transfer the wallet amount to another customer's uh, wallet as well so to add a new uh, pay you just need to tap here on the add new pay button uh, that brings up this add new pay section pop up where you need to enter the pay email now kindly note that uh, the uh, pay email should be a registered one within the store if it is not you know, will not be able to add that one as a uh, pay under your account so if i tap here on the add button you can see that uh, you cannot add yourself as a pay so if i uh, enter for example uh, demo 334 uh, at uh, webcool.com and now if i tap here on the add button you can see that a pay with this email uh, does not exist uh, so i've already uh, added two uh, uh, what we say as a pays 
also if I choose here uh, for example if I enter test at uh, webcool.com and then tap here on the add button because it's already added the message would say that the pay already exists in your account so uh, basically uh, to you can add the pay from here and thereafter when it's approved it will be visible here under the section and uh, from here you can delete any of the pays and you can also transfer the amount of the uh, pays uh, um, wallet there so the wallet to wallet transfer can be done so if i type in the transfer button uh, we have the pay name and the amount we can set the amount there that we want to transfer to this particular uh, customer and this tap here on the transfer button now here you can see that the amount is uh, 3000 and uh, we'll have to enter the password there to confirm the same apart from that you can also change the amount by tapping here on the change amount and then you can change the amount there after entering your password that you get on your email address uh, the customer needs to uh, tap here on the confirm button And you can see that the money has been successfully transferred now if i go to the uh, uh debit history you can see that uh, there's no order id but the amount debited is being displayed all right so that's how you can do it uh, wallet to wallet transfer there and under the credit history you can see the complete credit history for our uh, wallet itself now there's also some situations wherein uh, we can see that uh, we are uh, placing an order and the order amount exceeds the wallet amount so what happens in that case so what i'll be doing is i'll just uh, add one product and then we'll see how this works so uh, for that i'll just uh, choose one product and uh, let's see how what's the price all right let me add this product to the cart so i have to remove that uh, wallet there first and now i'll be adding the product into the cart so I'll just go ahead and I'll just tap here on the add to cart button and uh, I can tap here on the wave cart let me make the quantity as this and the total would change here uh, this quantity is not available uh, uh, in the desired qu quantity so uh, let me uh, show you that in a while so uh, what I'll do is I'll just uh, go to my wallet from here I can access it from here on the account panel as well so let me uh, do one thing let's transfer some wallet amount to another uh, customers wallet so let's tap here in the transfer and let me set it as uh, uh, 15 uh, thousand uh, 15 thousand and I'll just uh, transfer uh, we'll have to enter our password that we'll uh, uh, get uh, within our email there and then we'll just tap in the confirm button so I'll just tap in the confirm you can see that the amount would uh, get uh, deducted and the money has been successfully transferred to that particular uh, customer and now you can see that the wallet balance is only two hundred and fourteen dollars and eighty seven cents now if I go to my card and now if I tap here on the wave card button and let's make the quantity as three let me update it up so you can see that uh, we can make a purchase now so the uh, subtotal is nine hundred uh, dollars here so let's tap here on the checkout button now in this case the wallet amount is less uh, than the uh, order amount so let's see what happens so I'll just tap here on the continue button and here I'll be choosing my address tap continue uh, I'll be choosing my delivery method and here you can see that we have the wallet balance to 14.87 and the card total is basically $927 so I can choose uh, to uh, pay using the uh, wallet balance that is uh, basically uh, 214 dollars can be used uh, uh, from the wallet and uh, the rest of the amount can be uh, done using the other payment methods so here you can see that please select the preferred payment method to use for paying the remaining amount of this order so I can uh, make use of 214 dollars using the wallet and the rest using the cash on delivery I'll just check here tap here on the continue and lastly you can see that the subtotal is 900 uh, the wallet discount that we'll get is uh, 90 
and uh, the wallet amount that was used is for uh, 214.87 and uh, let me tap here on the uh, confirm order button now okay the order has been placed let's go to the history of this particular order order number 475 let's wave this particular order so you can see that the payment method was uh, cash on delivery plus the wallet pay and here we have the wallet total that was uh, deducted uh, the wallet discount that we got and the subtotal for the same all right so here we have the details under the payment method that was used cash on delivery and the wallet pay in case when the order amount exceeds the wallet amount and right now you can see that the wallet amount is zero because we have completely used our uh, 214 dollars 87 cents there so it's showing as a uh, zero dollars and zero cents itself now that was the customer's flow how he can do all these things and uh, the on top of the uh, wallet there transfer the wallet money and the uh, banking details uh, on the my wallet section itself by tapping here on the bank details check the credit debit history check the uh, complete order details under the actions column by tapping on the uh, wave button so uh, that was much about the customer end and uh, also the customers receive this particular uh, email uh, wherein they'll be able to see the amount that was uh, added to their wallet and the same uh, goes uh, uh, for the wallet itself whenever the account the amount is uh, debited so here you can see from the wallet it says account uh, your account has been debited with some amount and your store wallet system has been added with uh, some uh, some amount there and your current balance is this so these two uh, mails are also sent and uh, many other ones are also sent out to the customer there also one more thing is there when a, when a new user uh, arrives at your store and tries to register himself at that time he'll have to enter some details wherein he'll be uh, setting up the customer group like default long time customer golden membership and depending upon the selected customer group that particular customer would be getting some uh, what we say as uh, uh, to basically get the uh, discounts there now uh, the uh, customers also uh, get uh, what we say as a, a notification kind of a thing that's not a real notification but uh, letting them know that uh, their wallet uh, balance is uh, low and here if you can see that we have uh, my wallet uh, highlighted with a red color meaning that uh, there's no amount left within the wallet and that's how this particular notification allows the customers to know that their balance is uh, very low now let's go to the admin backend panel let's see how the admin can uh, configure uh, this particular plugin initially before making use of the same within his open cart web store and uh, the different options that are available within this particular open cart wallet system itself uh, within the admin dashboard uh, panel there so for that i'll just log into my admin backend panel and as soon as i've logged in you can see that we're on the dashboard right now so after you have successfully installed this particular plugin you'll have this uh, uh, wallet system menu wherein you'll have the module configuration so you can uh, go to the uh, go to the wallet system configuration from extension extensions then choosing the uh, payment uh, method or you can directly also go through the module configuration so here I'll be choosing payments and here we have the wallet system tap here on the edit button and this particular section comes up so here you can see the wallet image that I had showed you in the cart when we, we, we are recharging the wallet now the same configuration settings can be accessed from here as well by just tapping on the module configuration so as to ease in the process there now here you can enable or disable the wallet functionality for your open cart web store then we have uh, different tabs here one is the general configuration for the uh, wallet itself then we have the order total settings payment method settings transfer settings and the terms and conditions that are visible to the customers now if you have multiple uh, store views like uh, if you have uh, one in arabic and english you can set them up as per your own requirement there now let's come to the general configuration here you can set up the wallet image by just tapping here and adding the image and this image is visible for the uh, top up of the or when we are doing the recharge for any amount there then we have the recharge limit section and here we have the allowed methods so basically uh, you can uh, the admin can select the payment method that would be allowed for the wallet recharges so uh, you can check your allowed method here then we have wallet recharge order status so uh, 
uh, here you can set up the uh, recharge order status from the drop down as per your own uh, requirement there so uh, the amount will not get credited into the customer's wallet until the recharge order status does not meet on the selected status so uh, until the a recharge order status does not mean uh, match this particular uh, status that we have uh, chosen here as complete uh, till then uh, the amount would not uh, be created into the customer's wallet then we have the minimum re recharge uh, amount so here you can uh, sp uh, specify the minimum recharge limit and uh, for example I've set it as 10 so $10 is the minimum recharge amount and uh, they they will if i leave this particular uh, thing blank uh, blank then uh, uh, they uh, there will be no lower limit for the minimum recharge amount the same go same goes for the maximum recharge amount so here you can uh, set up the maximum recharge limit otherwise if you leave this as blank then there's no maximum recharge uh, amount limit so at a time you can only uh, add this uh, the, the amount that you have set here uh, you can just uh, recharge using that particular maximum amount then we have the wallet money credit for newly registered customers uh, customer group wise so here you can see that we have default golden membership and the long time customers so for each you can set up the wallet money credit so whenever that particular customer chooses a default long time or a golden membership he'll be uh, given the uh, wallet money credit that you have entered here then we have the low balance notification you can enable the notification as a uh, you can enable or disable it up otherwise uh, if you have chosen it as disabled then that would not be visible here uh, as you can see with the red uh, icon there that the uh, low balance is there let's go back and uh, here we can see that we can set up the minimum amount as well so the minimum amount is set as five so whenever we reach five uh, the low balance notification is displayed there under the account options then we have the refund limit so from here we can set up the minimum refund amount so here we can specify the uh, refund limit otherwise uh, if we leave this particular uh, uh, thing as blank then there will be no minimum refund amount so this is the minimum refund amount that can be done by the admin uh, the maximum refund amount can also be set up uh, that can be uh, uh, refunded to a customer uh, back to the customer's wallet then we have the order status for refund so from here we can choose the order status that would be there uh, when we are doing uh, the refund so the chosen order status here uh, uh, so basically we'll choose the order status on which the wallet amount will be refunded automatically so when we have done it uh, for example refunded when the order is refunded the particular order amount uh, would uh, then uh, be refunded automatically to the customer there now coming to the order total settings here you can uh, manage the order total itself you can set up the order sort order for the same you can set up the uh, order total name that's the wallet total that we are seeing at the front end and you can do it uh, as per your store waves then we have the payment method settings you can uh, set up the payment method name that's the wallet pay that we were seeing and we can choose the auto status for that when we are making the payment using the wallet itself so it will be showing complete after you have placed the order then we have the transfer settings so from here we can apply the limit on the transfer uh, or we cannot uh, or we can uh, make it as no as well to not have any uh, limit on the transfer but if you set uh, a limit then you can set up the transfer limit and here you'll be uh, basically specifying the maximum number of transactions that would be valid for a month so these number of uh, transactions can be used by customer in a month similarly minimum transfer amount can be set so here we'll be setting up uh, the minimum transfer amount that should be there to make a transfer you can similarly set up the maximum amount transfer the amount that you have added here would be the maximum transfer amount from a wallet to other wallet you cannot exceed that then we have the amount uh, limit and uh, so basically here uh, we uh, the admin will specify the amount limit for the overall transactions uh, in a month so uh, the amount limit is uh, this ten hundred thousand uh, dollars so that's the amount limit for overall transactions that can be done and it is valid for uh, a month and uh, lastly we have the terms and conditions uh, and you can set them up and these are visible on the uh, my wallet here section the terms and conditions as you can see 
and uh, thereafter you just need to uh, tap here on the save button to save the initial configuration settings for this particular plugin and now uh, let's check the other sections that's the credit debit history and uh, customer details and the discount rule so first let's go to the credit history section so here the admin can add credit uh, to the uh, customer's wallet by tapping here on the add credit button and here the admin can enter the name of the customer the amount that he wants to uh, add to that uh, customer's wallet and the description along with that and thereafter he just needs to tap here on the submit button to uh, add the wallet credit to the customer there apart from that the admin can find the complete list of uh, orders of uh, their amounts and the description as well for the complete credit history there and from here the admin can with the uh, particular ones uh, a particular orders under the actions column by tapping the view button and uh, now let's go to the debit history here the admin can uh, uh, add a debit uh, there to the from the customer's wallet by tapping in the add debit so here the admin uh, needs to enter the customer name the amount he wants to deduct and the description for that and then tap submit to deduct the amount from that particular customer's wallet apart from that the admin can see the uh, complete list of uh, uh, debits that have been made against each of the orders there as you can see here and we also have the options here to uh, filter out the debit list and here uh, under the customer details under the wallet system uh, here we have a complete list of uh, customers uh, as you can see here who have been uh, uh, basically complete list of customers along with their name email their wallet balance and the bank details to so check the bank details just tap here on the web button under the bank details column and you'll find the details of each of the respective customers there and lastly we have the discount rules and here the admin can create the discount rules can set up their title and can uh, create the uh, rules based on the subtotal or the card total and here the admin can add the discount as well in percentage or fixed so this uh, apart from that uh, you can also see the minimum card uh, amount that should be there the start and end uh, date uh, for the discounts and the priority for each and we can also edit any of the created uh, discount rules to add a new one just tap here on the add button and that brings up the discount rule uh, creation page and uh, there you just need to uh, set up the discount title the description for the same and uh, you can go to the discount rule choose your store where you want to apply this uh, rule at choose whether the discount is based on the card total or the subtotal and you can set up the uh, total discount that would be applied in percentage or fixed so if it's 10 and if I choose this as fixed then it will be as a fixed ten dollars would be off otherwise the percentage would be off you can also set up the minimum card or the product value on which the uh, discount would be applicable so if uh, the card or the product value is more than 500 then the discount in 10 percent would be applicable the start and the end dates for the discounts the priority and the status for this particular uh, discount rule that you're creating and lastly just tap here on the save button to save this particular uh, discount rule so that was much about the open cart uh, wallet system i hope it helped you out and understand the flow of this particular plugin if you still have any questions queries or suggestions then kindly reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise the ticket at webcool.uvs.com apart from that you can also reach us to through our contacts uh, section that's uh, www.webcool.com forward slash contacts and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead